Frank Atwood, Atwood addressed the clemency board today, still proclaiming he didn't do it. However, the clemency board thought otherwise, and today they denied a commutation, a pardon, or a reprieve for Frank Atwood. This despite several hours of testimony. Several speakers today spoke about Atwood's transformation, claiming he has become a different person during the last four decades he's been on death row. This crime occurred in 1984. The man who sits in that cage right now is not the man that sat before the court in 1984. Frank Atwood's attorneys say the condemned inmate has transformed over the decades. He found God, earned a degree, authored books, and got married. God gave Frank this opportunity by having him sit to death row for something he did not do to become an Orthodox Christian, a loving son and husband. Atwood has maintained his innocence since his arrest. Attorneys say the evidence against him is circumstantial. If she was in his car, there would have been a hair, there would have been a print. There were some prints left on the bike that never matched Frank Atwood. None of his prints were found on the bike. Uh, there were some unknown prints on the bike. These kinds of things can't be ignored. We really don't know with a clear certainty what happened. I mean, that is the very definition of a reasonable death. Eight-year-old Vicki Lynn Hoskinson disappeared while riding her bike in September of 1984. Her partial remains discovered several months later. Witnesses placed Atwood, a convicted child molester who was on parole at the time, in the Tucson neighborhood. To the family of Vicki Lynn Hoskinson, I can only say that while I know you will never believe that I did not take her from you, I did not. That, however, does not change the fact that your pain is as real as anything possible in this life can, time can possibly be. And my profound prayer is that my death will give you and yours some form of relief and closure from your unending misery and torment. Now, Vicki Lynn's mother spoke before the clemency board saying the family's waited 37 and a half years for justice for Vicki Lynn. It was a unanimous vote by the board to deny any form of clemency to Frank Atwood. He still has a couple motions in the Arizona Supreme Court and in federal court, barring any court order. His execution is still scheduled for June 8th by lethal injection. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.